the month of May might end up being just a little bit hard on the pockets. It is not too often that I'm plugging 10 releases for an entire month that I think are potentially profitable, but here we are. The month of May is absolutely loaded. I get a lot of questions about sneaker releases, what people should be copying, what's profitable, what to look out for. You're in the right place. I post one of these release guides every single month, so make sure you're subscribed tuned into these release guys so you don't miss any opportunity to make some money on sneakers without any further ado may 1st we've already got a fire release we've got the kobe 8 pro tro mambasita it's safe to say that every year this time we're gonna have a mambasita sneaker release there's even rumors that near father's day we're gonna get a girl dad kobe i think a kobe 4 pro tro and it's gonna feature the uh, philadelphia eagles that kobe was wearing courtside with Gigi. just a super dope story that these shoes tell and that's what makes it for a sneakerhead. From a collector standpoint, I love the shoes that aren't just super generic. I like there to be a story behind them for them to have their own quirks and details. But anyway, that's a future release. Right now we're talking about the Mamacita. This one you're gonna see butterflies all over the upper. It's gonna have Gigi's name on the back as well as her number. There's a gold Mamacita hang tag on them, plus the box has Mamacita on it. Very cool colorway, retailing for 190 bucks. These are definitely gonna be profitable. Make sure you're tuned in to sneakers at 10 a.m on release day. May 4th, we have the official release day of the Retro for Military Blues. Now we know a few weeks ago that these shock dropped and let me tell you, the price change on this shock drop was one unlike any other that I've seen. When these were rumored to be like 1.2 million pairs or something super significant like that, of course, the price went down on resale apps. StockX was all the way down to like 260, something like that, 260 to 280 per size, per pair. Once this shock drop happened and people realized that they weren't able to cop these shoes as easily as what they thought, they shot all the way up to like 325 bucks. Now, of course, they settled back down once those pairs came in the mail. I think they're gonna continue to steadily increase until we get to release day then drop again drop again when those pairs get in hand but over time this retro 4 is a great release to cop haven't seen this silhouette since 2012 this time we're getting the nike air on the back just like we want as sneaker heads even though they're retailing at 215 which is a little steep in my opinion there's still plenty of meat on the bone i myself i think i got like six pairs on hand already I and mean, i'm gonna try to snag a few more on release day all right let's switch it up a little bit on may 10th we've got a dunk low sb futura collab these are gonna be big money the offers on apps right now are already astronomical these are gonna have a huge demand this colorway is really cool though it's got that like tie-dye slash iridescent like galaxy type feel to it i don't really know how to explain it other than it's colorful i love the transition in color from the laces from bottom to top very cool collab retailing at 135 dollars huge profits to be made if you see these up for grabs on release day don't even hesitate cop any size you can get your hands on and thank me later may 11th we've got the retro one low shadow i remember back whenever these first released it was in 2015 i believe i wasn't a huge fan of the one lows because i like the one highs so much i thought the one lows were kind of corny but they're starting to really pop off especially since the dunks have came back people are messing with the one lows great neutral colorway the shadows are always going to be iconic these probably aren't going to bring big money if any at all probably some lunch money at least the retail tag at 140 gives you a little bit of room to make some profit may 17th one of my favorite releases this month we've got the travis scott one low canary now this is going to be in a women's size run doesn't matter they're going to be extended as always for example if you have a women's size nine that's only going to be a seven and a half in men's so rule of thumb a size and a half up from your original size if you're a dude who wears men's size so i guess we're not done with the travis scott one lows we've had plenty of iterations since the last time they said we were done with them i thought the black phantoms were supposed to be the last one low colorway that they were putting out definitely not the case we've seen several since then these are super sweet we finally are straying a little bit further from the traditional color palettes that travis scott's used we've gotten a lot of browns olives greens we did of course have the frags like one blue pair these pop and personally i really like these with the different color lace options and my favorite laces to throw in these are definitely going to be the red ones i think it makes these shoes really stand out they might give it a little bit of like ronald mcdonald type vibes but i'm telling you they look nice these are going to retail for 150 bucks and they're going to bring big money make sure you stay up to date with travis scott's website for this one they like to shock drop things on release day it's hard to get through on his site but you do have a chance there sneakers at 10 a.m on release day probably going to be a draw for these as always 
the places that stock these, whether it be boutiques, whatever tier stores, keep up to date with their social media. All of these places post things on Instagram. They're trying to boost their socials. They're going to sell the shoes no matter what. They want to gain something from it. So stay up to date with their socials. I can't say that enough. They will post their release info there. May 18th, we've got the Retro 11 Low Space Jams. Retro 11 Lows have not done as well here lately as they have in the past. We've seen pretty much every iteration in a low form. We've seen the breads, the concords, even the legend blue 11 lows all of them have made their way into the low silhouette except for the space jams we had the ies in the past but we have never had them in their own 11 low silhouette this is the first to debut i'm stoked for it after all we haven't seen the space jams themselves since 2016 so it's time to get a new iteration of those they're retailing for 190 bucks i can see these doing decent they might bring you know 230 to 250 right off the rip and they're gonna mature well just like any jordan 11 does this might be a good pair to buy a few keep them on ice hold them for a while and flip them later down the road may 21st we've got the kd4 weatherman i've never been a fan of the weatherman shoes but there's a few silhouettes that actually do pretty well in the resale market and this just happens to be one of them now kd lovers yes we've been rumored for a few of these releases to come back finally the weatherman's the Galaxy's obviously already dropped. Those made a little bit of lunch money on the side. And I'm hearing that we might get the nerfs too. Now, if you look up these Weathermen right now on resale apps, they have been fetching a great price. These are retailing for 130 bucks, so we got some room to work. I don't think that they're gonna bring as much value as what the other iteration did, but I think they're gonna do pretty well. Should be able to make some money on them. Keep an eye on sneakers. Keep an eye on your foot sites also. These are probably gonna be raffled at different locations, whether that be Champs, Foot Locker, what have you. To enter in those types of drawings you need to have the app you can earn head starts basically as it gets closer to release day you can enter different locations for a raffle on the app you can also enter for them to be delivered straight to your house i like to increase my chances and do both options you can select up to three stores to enter at but they are limit one per person per account so you can't win at all three stores you can only win at one of the three which is fine that's just how it works may 22nd we've got the j balvin rio threes shouts to cement cream for these dope photos of these i've been following cement cream since he had like practically zero followers dude's account still really hasn't popped off popped off he's got like less than 10k but the dude has mad heat he's always selling all kinds of crazy stuff whether it be designer accessories shoes that you've never seen before he's got all the exclusive stuff and these photos came straight from his ig i'm really loving this colorway i think the black is what this upper needed we saw the cream colorway of this in september of 2023 now since we haven't seen a lot of photos of these or gotten a lot of release info i would not be surprised if they get pushed back but we do have a few weeks here still left so maybe we'll end up getting them on time who knows retail price is 250 bucks a little on the steep end the last pair of threes did pretty well though we'll have to wait and see what the stock levels are i really do think these are going to be a cop from a personal standpoint i think this colorway is awesome definitely would love to have a pair of these in the personal collection may 25th we've got the retro 12 red taxis now i've seen the mock-ups of these i've seen the official photos i kind of like the mock-ups better they did the lace holes in red like metallic red instead of the silver and i really think that it ties all the accents together maybe we'll get it that way but probably not the taxis have always been a hard color way people mess with 12s with how many good releases we have going on this month and how they've been pushing these GRs, I just feel like these are probably going to break a little bit. There's probably not going to be a ton of resale potential here. It's going to be one of those releases that sit with a markup in stores. If you got these on your radar for a personal collection, then that's why it's here on this guide for you. Probably not to resell. Retail's 200 bucks. Still a really cool colorway. White, black, red. Can't go wrong. May 29th, we've got the Retro One High Latte in a women's size run we already got the mochas those went crazy now we're getting the lattes a little bit lighter brown accent still looks kind of the same materials and everything as the mochas again it's in a women's size run so dudes if you're copping these you need to get a size and a half bigger i think the ladies are going to go crazy for these however i do not think that the resale value is going to mimic the mochas some part of me just thinks that now is not the time for ones to pop off we've been super saturated with the ones colorways there's tons of pairs out there right now they haven't done well from a resale standpoint in a while i don't think this is the pair that's going to get the ones back on the map that might be good news for sneakerheads like myself i love ones and this is a really nice clean 
neutral colorway. These light brown palettes are in. Like I said, I think the ladies are gonna go crazy over these. I think we're gonna see a lot of dudes wearing them too. We could even call these like the poor man mochas. Maybe sneakerheads will prove me wrong and go crazy over these and drive the price up. Retail's 180 bucks. Don't think they're gonna fetch much more than that. Still a dope colorway. I just couldn't leave it out of the guide. One more honorable mention. I want you guys to keep an eye on the Supreme drops. We've got some Supreme Nikes that are dropping this month. I did not see these on any of the sneaker news outlets. Do your own research. Check out the resale value on these right now on eBay, GOAT, StockX. See if they're worth copying for yourself or for personal. I believe we're getting four colorways. A black, a white and blue, a Volt, and a camo colorway. Supreme always drops on Thursdays on the site. These might also hit sneakers. So make sure you have the sneakers app downloaded, locked, and ready to go. If you guys think I missed anything, drop them in the comments below. Hit me up on IG as always. The handle is the same, at AllABSneakers. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Do not forget, this is all about sneakers.